Hello viewers, Super GT here. Welcome to the video. Thank you for joining me for yet another glorious Forza Motorsport 6 video in S Class. And here we are in the Aston Martin Team Forza Edition car. Heard it's a bit of a beast, so I thought I'd give it a try. And no better place to give a car a try than Prague Full Circuit. True test of a car's ability and your ability to crash just like that not gone well on the exit of turn one cars reversing going backwards all kind of things going off there and we're going to try and get away here and let's test exactly how good this car is then the team forza aston martin tuned by ams roadrunner of all people he actually won the most recent forza racing championship in france so he, i'd imagine he knows a thing or two about tuning and hopefully this car turns out to be a good one let's see if it is so we've gained a couple of positions up into 12th place very windy circuit this one Look, plenty of long corners long winding corners it's actually quite a good track I, I do enjoy this one i think prague is not too bad actually into this one i'm taking a very fast trail breaking entry into that one almost going into the back of the guy ahead very close to wiping him out but i didn't so luckily we can continue without uh, any regret Perhaps that regret will come later. He gets a poor run on the exit though. On the throttle way too early. We're going to move over to the right hand side to get a better run through this corner. And he's gone way wide again. Just behind me there you might have seen his green nose poke into the bottom of the screen. Now coming across the bridge. Contact ahead. We're going to try and judge exactly which way to go. Go left, go right and then... <laughs> I mean... What can... <laughs> what can you say about that? Just... I tried to grind the wall but then obviously... Someone designed it with a couple of bricks laying out or hanging out of the side and then I've just gone flying into a couple of bricks and then it's just killed me. Killed my momentum completely and potentially ruined the race but we're going to try to make something of it here and again that guy he, he just went in way too early and then just had to turn out and then unfortunately I was there but maybe I could have given him more space. But then again, hindsight is a wonderful thing. It's always easy to say afterwards, oh, this is what I could have done. I guess the general consensus is there's too many noobs in this game and you should just always be careful. That's always a good approach to taking the Forza Motorsport. And if you're new to the Forza Motorsport series, perhaps you're guessing Forza 7 is your first game. Uh, my, my recommendation to you is be careful. Yeah, not be fast or be consistent. Just just be careful. That will... That'll, give you good results in most cases if you can just avoid people that is a key skill in Forza you have speed, you have consistency you have overtaking ability but just your ability to pick a route through the ensuing chaos and the flames and insanity your ability to do that, that counts for much more than speed and overtaking and consistency typically anyway so we're going to go past that guy quite comfortably in the Viper We've caught back up with the V8 supercar, the Mercedes. Um, I've seen it used a fair amount, but um, I don't think it's one of the best cars in S-Class. He goes very deep once again. You need to come back for that late Apex just like that. He's gone in way too hot into there. Did you see that? That guy went absolutely flying through the tunnel. He almost hit the ceiling. He might have even hit the ceiling. What the hell? I'm really not sure how he got launched just like that. But he did, and I'm sure his spine is very thankful for that so coming down the bridge once again more smoke more more tire smoke being laid up um, so people deploying the smoke screen once again on the bridge the narrow section of the bridge um, just but just the place you want to have a smoke screen really luckily I, I, I survive this time around perhaps I won't be so lucky on lap three let's see so this car actually it feels very nice indeed it's got plenty of power a little bit stiff in the bends but it's manageable. It does have a bit of oversteer, a bit of um, power oversteer, but sometimes I do like a bit of oversteer. Who doesn't? And coming through for turn no uh, number one, behind a Toyota Celica now. Car very, very good on power actually. Feels very nice. The Celica very quick though. Look at that. He's uh, certainly not holding back at all on that power. So seventh place just in front of us. Go casually around the outside. Check that out. That is a downforce and a half. It's like Adrian Newey has designed this car at just infinite downforce. 
check it out. Just go flying around him in the Seneca. Easy as you like. And then I'm through into 7th place as well. 6th place doesn't look like it's on here. So it's not really a real Super GT video without 6th place. So unfortunately, you're going to have to flag this one as a fake video. You know, maybe even unsubscribe and down, uh, dislike the video if you really think this is a fake video. Please don't actually do those things. Um, I'm, I'm just joking. Uh, you might you might not be able to tell actually. Quite a lot of people can't. Or it's, it, it's it's hard. Let me put it that way. To sometimes decipher true sarcasm. But it's a British thing, I think. We do just talk sarcastically with a dead straight uh, voice. So. I am joking when I actually sound like I'm being serious. So yeah, do do that. Do take that as a note there. So coming through the chicane, going to be very careful for here. Don't go into the ball. Not on the last lap. We've got a gap behind. We've got a gap in front. Nothing's going to happen. So you might as well just take it very safely. But then clearly the guy ahead is a big fan because he's going to break before the line and he's going to let me finish in sixth place. Beautiful scenes here at Prague. Another sixth place for Super GT. Legendary stuff. And that's going to bring us to Yas Marina, aka Noob City. This is the noobiest track of all time. And it's going to be the noobiest race. This is just going to be a true showcase of noobery, if, if that's a word. If it's not, I just made it up and it now is a word. So. Drop into the back of the pack near enough. I think someone else was going really far back. This guy's just, he's just not going to turn. Perhaps he got shunted wide by the guy ahead. I'm going to go to this configuration, which arguably is even more noobier than the other one. Ferrari just comes weighing in. Like, what the hell? Just, <laughs> just goes flying in, kills everyone. Gain more positions. Thank you very much. On to the back straight. Let's see if we can uh, unwind the legs of this car and try to catch up with the Formula Mazda up ahead which I wouldn't imagine has too much speed or is it the Formula Ford it do probably doesn't have too much straight line speed big gang of cars up ahead and sorry to the Formula Ford there I kind of just got a bit of oversteer on the exit there halfway through the chicane nice, all, uh, nice run on the exit there as we come out towards this chicane coming up I think it's the newbiest chicane in the game purely based on the amount of carnage that happens here the amount of corner cutting the amount of people hitting each other and it's, it's no shortage here of that because I'm just going to get tucked in from behind and tucked in uh, tucked into bed almost he's trying to send me to sleep this guy and um, yeah just that chicane I, I rate it very lowly actually in terms of chicanes so as, as far as chicanes go that's one of the worst definitely and this 4 GT came weighing in uh, there's no way he's going to make that move on me without making contact so Luckily I'll go back past him. We can forget about him, hopefully, unless I get wiped out and then end up behind him once again. Could happen. It is, it is Noob City. We should just not call this Yas Marina anymore. Just just Noob City. That's, that's what it is. That's the new name of this track. Forget Yas Marina. That, that term doesn't exist anymore. So, rounding out lap number one in 12th place, the great Lord Super GT. He's, uh, he's really going down a level here. I think that happens. When you race against noobs, you become a noob. Like I, I race like crap when I race crap people. It happens. Uh, coming into turn number one, past the Formula Ford guy once again. It might not even be a Formula Ford. I might even be getting that completely wrong. Please correct me if I am, which I probably am. Around the outside of another Team Forza Aston Martin. Now coming into here, right? He's just he's just going to turn across me. Like he doesn't know clearly that. The guy on the inside has control and you know I was waiting to actually take the corner because you'll see on the next lap that he has no intention of taking that corner properly. He, he just wants to cut it so he was just going to cut it regardless of whether I'm on the inside or not. So unfortunately he's, he's tipped me round and I've lost time once again so I'm, I'm going to be uh, trying to find my way through once again at Noob City. Uh, a, a common theme here really, getting battered and bruised and then trying to make your way back past all of the noobs who did that to you no justice in the world eh it really is not a, it's not a good world when people like that can just do that I, I know there's worse things in the world actually no there's nothing worse in the world than getting wiped out by a noob 
or four to six. Nothing worse. Nothing. So we're going to try and catch up here. Full GT was ahead. Clumsy chicane. I really hate it. Honestly, zero out of ten for that chicane. Zero. Minus one if I could give it minus one. It's really that bad. Just awful. Like horrible clunky curbs which just kick you around everywhere and just basically punch you in the face and say you're crap. You're crap at cornering Super GT and it just throws you off so badly. Maybe that's me. Maybe I'm just crap at taking that corner but I hate it. It's really just it's just an awful track really. And I agree with Kimi Raikkonen when he says that the first sector is okay but the rest is shit. I think that's a very good analysis of the Aston Marina or Noob City, sorry. Noob City. I do apologise. So final turn. We can see the Aston Martin. He's in our sights. I'm gonna I've I've had enough, you know. He's he's gonna get punted. He's gonna get a massive punt in the rear end. We can't let that stand. As you can see, look, extending massively. He obviously has no intention of taking corners properly. Back past the Formula Ford for about the eighth time. Going past the Ford GT, we have very similar liveries here actually. And you can see Aston Martin, look, just cutting the corner completely. He clearly has no intention here of trying to take corners properly. So Super GT falls a police. It's, it's out in force. It's, it's not a force that actually makes many, many appearances, but it's gonna happen here, guys. Uh, we're we're going to wait for a good moment though as we come into the chicane once again and cars everywhere up ahead green guy in the Esprit is it? so no the BMW M1 Pro car I always get those two mixed up because it does look a bit like an Esprit so at first glance I do get it wrong often or well, all the time every time I try and say it so into the worst chicane of all time the 0 out of 10 chicane so plenty of cutting here. Even me, I'm going to cut it. And then I'm just going to try and get past this Audi. And it's just going to... Oh, <laughs> you can only laugh, really. It's just awful. And then I just kind of shoved him wide, way wide. And I'm just I'm just becoming a total noob now. When, when you're in Noob City, you become a noob. And I'm just going to punt the BMW. Punt him once, punt him, punt him twice. So I've actually become a noob. Like, I've shed my skin of being actually anything good. And now I've just become crap. It happens. It's what happens when you come here. So this is our last chance, really, to go for the punt, and we're going to do it. So we're going to not going to break here. I'm just going to just go flying in. But annoyingly, right? Look at that. He just doesn't even get affected by it. What the hell is that? Like Forza Physics gone wrong, or not even gone wrong? That just is Forza Physics. Just like I tried to kill him at like I don't know. I was probably going 60 miles an hour more than him, and he just did nothing to him. Like, what the hell is that all about? Oh well. We um, we live to fight another day, maybe. Maybe not. I, I, I might just end it all after this. Because that was just atrocious. Now, I did try to wipe him out again. I was going to go go for it. But then he just got punted wide there. Or just punted, spun around. And then we had this guy. Opting to cut every possible corner that he could. and And that guy as well, actually. And then next lap. You guessed it, yeah. Same guy, same corners, cutting it, cutting again. So I was going to go full Forza Police mode, but this happened basically. So we're coming through the first turn on the third lap. He kind of pushed me into the puddle there, naughty. And then Karma Strike, because he's just going to go flying wide. And I can say, see you later, mate. That's the end of your life, maybe. And that brings a close to the video, guys. The Aston Martin. Team Fours are a very good car, tuned by AMS Roadrunner. The name's in the description. Thank you for watching, guys. As always, I hope to see you next time. Like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more. I shall see you next time. Goodbye.